Hey folks, I'm Tuck Tan too. I'm MetroFinance.com. I'm here with James Brown Eagle Vini. And tonight, we got some really cool pieces. You know, you're, you're an amazing guy. You travel all around the world. Well, you know, I love to travel. You know, I love to travel for, for art. You look at art, go to Paris, look at art. You're a very lucky man. You go to Chicago. I was there last week. I was there, I was there for all the reasons, but I still stopped in the new wing of Chicago. We talked about it. You know, I've been to, been to Manhattan for lots of the time. I've met. Boston, but early, early this year, um, to celebrate my wife's uh, one of the big birthdays, uh, she wanted to go to Rome, so we went to Rome, Italy, wow. where this piece was inspired. You can't help but be inspired by some place, a place of antiquity that's 3,000 years old, and they were making art and music that long ago, you know, well before the birth of Christ. Yeah, and, and that's some of that's still on that, you know, still evident, and you can still see it right there. You can feel that. Well, right, you know, I mean, uh, just, the, just the design of the architecture and the way they, they design the columns for the Roman Forum, which is what someone says. Uh, this painting in particular is called The uh, Birth of the Creation of Truth. And uh, uh, it actually represents water as a metaphor for truth. So uh, uh, so it's, it's a water scene. I wanted to bring that into it, it's a little waterfall. You may see a set of hands here that, um, that actually looks a bit like a landscape. And it actually is a landscape. I tried to try to do it, have it both, have it be both. Uh, the hands are actually the, the two fingers. Like uh, the picture I took at the Sistine Chapel of uh, Michelangelo's. Uh, and we talked about the demonstrate that panel technique. The panel, yeah. We yeah, were, yeah well, you weren't supposed to take any. You weren't supposed to take any video in there. But we were there and a bunch of Italians, and nobody was what Nobody was listening to the guards. Nobody was reading them. Nobody was listening to the sign. It takes an hour to get into the place, and there's all these signs saying, can I take any video or photo in the Sistine Chapel? But everybody was in there, and so I got in there, and I got my, got my camera here, and it tilts up. My video camera's the same way, so I'm walking around like this, looking at the, looking at the screen. You know? But I don't think they would have cared one way or another. Everybody was in there doing it. So I just took, I took my time, got some great microphones in the Sistine Chapel, including the famous, the famous panel. Of, of, of uh, the creation of man, where God and, and God and man are almost touching the fingers. He's anointing the, the, the mankind, and that's what that's what these two hands are. It's actually taken from a photo that I took. Although these hands have been used in everything, you know, you know it. It's, it's an iconic, it's an iconic panel throughout the world. That whole that whole Sistine Chapel was just uh, the greatest work any one individual could have done in their lifetime. My hands are just incredible. And I think also with all your pieces, and you actually use that element to really construct the frame. Uh, visually, so it connects visually. Well, uh, I took photos everywhere, and I use photography a lot in my art. Um, I paste various various things together. This was uh, these two items. The, the columns were taken separately at uh, different parts of the Roman Forum. I just shrunk them and put them in a put them in the sea to give it a Roman feeling, you know. And you know something else I was going to too. Um, talk a little bit about the underpainting you have in your prior piece. And it's very atmospheric and really, really dense. I, I was just curious, I've never been to Rome. I've been to, um, I've been to Portugal. Sure. And I noticed that the atmosphere was very, very different. Uh, with the, the sky, the color, right. the way you feel. Yeah, it depends on the time of year, I guess, too, you know. Is that carried through in this piece? We were like there. The, like the, like the, I, I actually, that's, that's part different. of it. That's part of it. You know, you go there, there's trees and there's a sky, just like we have here, but it just have, it has a whole different feel. I don't know, maybe it's because civilization has been there such a long time. Who knows what you get out of it? Too. Well, maybe they have a spiritual thing too. Oh well, maybe, maybe. Although there was a lot of graffiti in Rome, I have to say. That oh was, really? That was one thing. Yeah. Wow. Everywhere you travel, even though it's done in oils, uh, there's a number of painting of yellow. And you put green, and uh, actually some of the darkness are actually out There's some dark in the background too. So it's, you have to think about it a little bit and work, work your way from the back of the painting forward to come up with your place. Cool. Well, thanks for sharing us with us, James. You're welcome, sir. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Thanks for joining. And uh, folks, you can always find more of the hottest artists in Metro Detroit. And for the one over here, we're in front of Detroit Opera No Tigers. <laughs> and, uh, and Buddy. <laughs> go, go, Buddy. <laughs> and, uh, thanks for watching. See you guys. Awesome. Buddy first. Yeah.